how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this week's Congregation Hymn Sing with me, Pamela Massey. Well, I've got five wonderful and very beautiful hymns for you to join in with today, and I hope you're in good voice. And today's theme, when I was praying about what the theme should be, I felt God put on my heart about repentance. So what is repentance? What it is, it comes from the word, the Greek word of metanoia, and what it means is a change of mind or a turning away from doing what's wrong, you know, what is a sin. And as when you come to Christ, that's what we have to do. We have to turn away from those things, those sins that we've done wrong, and, and give our lives to our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who had the burden of all Everybody sins, people from the past, people in the present and people in the future who come to him. He's took all our sins on his shoulders and died for us because God loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son. So repentance is vital for us to come to our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. And it's the least we can do is to turn away from those things that we do wrong and live our lives for him. So the first wonderful song that I'm going to sing, and I hope that you'll join in, is Just As I Am Without One Plea. Oh 
That's lovely, isn't it? And we have to plea and we need to come to our Lord Jesus Christ and plea for him, him to forgive those sins, which we know he has done. That's why he took our place on that cross to take away those sins. And we have to, from the depths of our heart, want to turn away from all those things. And that's what true repentance is. I'm just going to read you a quick scripture. And it's Luke 24, verse 47. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And I'm going to find another one as well, just bear with me. And it's going to be Acts 3.19. And it says, Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And in that hymn we've just sang, it talked about blotting out our sins, didn't it? Well, we're going to sing another song. I'm just going to get the next scripture ready. The next hymn is Come to My Heart. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> or is it? Let me just check. I've got the wrong sheet. Right. It's Thou Didst Leave Thy Throne. <laughs> As I say, it's really, really important to come to the Lord with all our heart and give him everything. You know, I've been 
looking at um, the next study that I'm going to be doing here, and it shows the contrast between the church of, you know, the early church with the disciples started and the churches now. And one of the things that really spoke out to me was the fact that the early church gave up everything. Whatever they had and owned, they gave it all away and they shared everything. And they were always in one accord. And we need to try and get back to all those. But as I say, before that, we need more and more people to repent of the things that they're doing wrong and come to our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Because with living in the end times and the end days now, it's so important that this message of repentance and the message of the gospel, which we sang about last week, all comes forward and everyone knows about it so they have that chance to come to our Lord and Saviour. We're going to be singing another wonderful hymn in a minute. It's How Sweet is the Name of Jesus Sounds. But just before that, I just want to read another, um, gospel, another gospel. Just bear with me, another quote. And it's Mark 1, verse 15, that I'm going to read to you. And saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe in the gospel. As I say, we sang about all that last week, didn't we? So let's sing now how sweet the name of Jesus sounds. <laughs> These hymns are all quite old hymns and they're so deep and meaningful, aren't they? Right. So Acts, Acts 20, 21 says, Testing, fying, both 
to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ. Right, let's have a look at our wonderful next hymn. It's Dear Lord and Father of Mankind. <laughs> Sometimes we go through all these battles within ourselves, don't we? And in our hearts, we know that the right thing to do is to say sorry to our Lord and Saviour, and turn back to him and turn away from those things that we do wrong. And he's always there waiting, you know, for us. His arms are open, ready to take you back and give you another chance. You know, just like um, the parable of the... The, the father and the prodigal son. You know, if you've done something wrong and you truly come back to him with a pure heart and say sorry for the things that you've done wrong, he, he's ready to take you back. So don't be afraid of coming back to him. And don't be afraid of giving us a call. You see the number on the, on the, on the, um, on the screen a bit later on. We're ready to you know, help you and listen to you to help you to build your relationship with the one 
Lord, the one true God, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. I've got another scripture here. And we're going to have a look at Luke 15, 7. Luke 15, 7 says, I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven for every one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons who need no repentance. So, as I say, just as that prodigal son came back to his father, that prodigal son is us, isn't it, really? And the father is our Lord and Saviour. And as that parable says, you know, he had his arms open for that son who went away, did all the things that maybe he knew deep down inside he shouldn't have done. And he came back thinking that his father would be angry with him. And he wasn't. His father was so happy and joyful to see him. And, you know, our Lord God is waiting for us to come back to him. So that's the message of repentance. Turn away from the things that you're doing. You know deep down in your side you're doing wrong. And come back to the one and only, the one true God, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we're coming towards the, the last hymn now. And it's a wonderful hymn called, Softly and Tenderly, Jesus is Calling. Now, just bear with me. just want to make sure I get the right note. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for
promised for you and for me. Though we have sinned, he has mercy and pardon. Pardon for you and for me. Come home, come home. You who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is called. Him says it all. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Jesus is calling. He's calling all his sheep home, even the ones who have left and are thinking of coming back. He's ready to give his love to you, to take you back. And whatever you've done wrong, as long as you've repented with a pure heart, he will accept you back in. He will show you his mercy and grace. So on that note, we've come towards the end now. We've come to the end of our hymn sing. I hope you've enjoyed it. And, you know, if there's any hymns that you would like to hear on, on here on a Thursday evening, please do get in touch with us. Because when we've got a few, we can probably come up with a, um, you know, like a, a program with those hymns in. So we'd love to hear from you. But... As I said before, if you are one of those people who are worried and have done wrong, whether you've been, you know, come to him once before and backslidden or whether you've never come to Christ before, don't be afraid of coming to him. He loves you very, very much. He knows everything. Just come to him. Open your heart out to him. Talk to him. He's ready. As I say, his arms are open, ready to accept you so thank you so much for joining me for this week's hymn sing and i look forward for you to join me next week for next for the next hymn sing in the meantime have a wonderful week god bless and we'll see you next week bye for now Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me I once was lost but now am found was blind but now I see I once was lost but now am found was blind but now i see